safety top of mind as we send kids back to school, many of them this week. It's very good to see you. I'm Evan Onstein. Hello everyone. I'm Jessica Shambach. So how are districts planning to keep your students safe at the bus stop? KFCO's Megan Mosley joins us live from Deer Creek. Now, Megan, that district is ready for the school year, but says there are some challenges ahead. Well, guys, Deer Creek is welcoming 8,000 students to the district this year. That's 400 more than last year. They say with the growing number of students mean more cars on the road, which could make for more challenges. <laughs> students aren't the only ones gearing up for the start of the school year. They're big and they're bright. Bus drivers at a local district also prepping during their safety training this week. To look for the different things um, that are safe and unsafe at bus stops because you know we want to make sure that they are looking for parents that they're looking for uh, other drivers in the community. Deer Creek Public School says their community is growing and so is the amount of people on the roads. So be mindful as some bus stops may have challenges. One of the challenges is keeping the students safe and maybe not having enough parents at the bus stop to kind of monitor the kids. Another challenge is lighting at some of the stops. We're in the rural area of the county, so being in a well-lit space, being in an area where the kids can see the bus and the bus driver can see the kids. But the biggest reminder they're telling drivers... Slow down in the speed zones and the school zones. Now we've also been telling you about how several districts have been struggling with bus driver shortages for a while now. Today, Deer Creek tells me they are fully staffed on bus drivers. Reporting live in Deer Creek, Megan Mosley, KOCO 5 News.